opening blows are about to be exchanged in a furious battle between level 75 Pokémon. Rig Zegator, their pincer. Here's the first move. They missed Fury Cutter. There it goes. We found Psychic. Confusion. That is definitely confusion. I mean, come on. What did you really expect? Uh, I guess we're just gonna stay in. We could try to get a continue, it's probably worthwhile. We'll switch now. The trainer switching Pokemon. Oh, it's Rapid! There's the attack. That did little damage. What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the battle? Please, no hyper beam. It's on the end here, Scizor? Nah, they would've got Well, maybe not. It's gotta be like Scizor. Excuse me? I don't think we can get a continue. We have to stay in with Rapidash. Sure. Dragon Breath. They always go for it knowing it's going to paralyze. I've never seen a Dragon Breath, like a random Dragon Breath, that didn't paralyze. They only go for it when it paralyzes, guaranteed. This Toxic's nice, though. King's Rock? I'd probably die to this wing attack, but I'd be very happy if I don't. Because then we can switch, get two more poison off, and that'll kill. And the reason I know it's not Paralysis is because it would have made the Paralysis animation, and he wouldn't have said flinched. Should die to poison this turn. I would like to find a move at least, though. What now? That caused no damage at all. Our earthquake is left, and we're faster. There's the attack. That did little damage. That should be Dragon Breath. Additional damage in an already difficult situation. There it is. Every Beam Earthquake is a little awkward on Nidoking, but we got our continue, which is great going into this next fight. Rabidash left, good. Zigtor left is Confusion. Nidoking left is Earthquake. Don't think we can run these Pokemon. I guess we're going to use 4, 5, and 1. Try and get non-Solar Beam attacks. Even if we do get Solar Beam, it's not the end of the world. It's absolutely fine. 
Silabeam should one-shot every Pokemon in this next fight, except for Aerodactyl and Scizor. Yeah, I think it kills... It should kill Steelix from full. But a nice, safe round one win with some decent Pokemon. The best water type. Pretty sure that's Steelix. It doesn't really make a difference, Steelix or Rhydon. Because we're still using Kingdra and we're still going to try to find a water move, which we did. But I'm pretty sure that's Steelix. Rhydon is just like, where Steelix is. I'd be very surprised if they switch to Aerodactyl after we kill the Stone fan, but I've had that happen before pretty recently. Hydro Kingdra is just insanely good in this. Good speed tier, good bulk, good damage. And there's that right on cry I gave earlier. One, two, three. It's out of here. Mm. <laughs> Alright. If we have Dragon Breath on our Kingdra, it's okay in the next fight. We want to maximize our chance of finding a good grass move, or a good, uh, you know, fighter. And Exigator has the issue of dying to literally every ice move in two hits. And I'm very suspicious that this Exigator has Solar Beam instead of Giga Drain. So I don't know if I want to use Exigator. I don't want to use Rapidash, but Rapidash is fine, right? Really good against the fire types. So I think we just bottom row it, learn more about our Kingdra. Oh my goodness, please. Five, six, four. That should be Machamp. I would stay in normally, but if it's psychic, we die. So let's go back to Kingdra. Tank a hit. Hopefully, it's confusion. Sounds like psychic. We're probably gonna miss this hydro pump, but I think two hydro pumps is better than trying to learn and doing no damage. Plus, we're slower, so we're only gonna get one hit off anyway. Got the hit. The crowd's excitement is building from this heated battle. A psychic blast! That's the hit! Oh, and down it goes! We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next. If we start this fight over, Rapid Ash Lead is great. Oh, it's a Lexabon! It was as good in this fight. The problem is it's going to take a Psychic here, minimum. Or we find Iron Tail. Okay. This Electabuzz should be able to secure the win here. We'd love to see Poliwrath. Polito. Gyarados would be amazing. And Cloyster. Cloyster for sure. Polito's fine. If Iron Tail's left, our Thunder is either right or down. 
I'm gonna start with right. Might be Thunderbolt. Could be Thunder. I think it's staticky enough that it's Thunderbolt, but Waterfall's great. We live Waterfall for sure. I'm pretty sure this is Thunderbolt. We'll find out here. Oyster. Or Polyrath. I wonder if Thunderbolt to a KO's. Cloyster's perfect. There we go. What a win. We have a really good team. Just everything about this team is really good. We don't know anything about Machamp, but that's fine. Machamp is still great. Nido King's also great for the next fight, not only because it has an, it's an Earthquake user, and also because it has Hyper Beam, but because it's a male, we can gauge our attract targets, right? When the the our opponent goes for attract, we can have the stability that is like Nido King. If it turns into like one of those longer fights where we have to like swap a lot, we know that we can switch into Nido King, who is a boy. And that switch can like give us information like, oh, we have opposing genders here, so we can switch to Needle King on the attract, get a free switch in, those kind of things. Or recognize that we have the same one and then we don't make those switches, right? Things like that. I think I'm gonna go Kingdra over Electabuzz, just because Tankier and Hydro Pump is awesome. Lead Machamp really sucks against basically any fighting type, but we'll be fine. Porygon. Give us a cross chop, please. We are now focused energied. Slaving is scary, but we should be fine. We'll go down. If it's Vital Throw, we're in trouble. Yeah. It is indeed Vital Throw. We really need this crit. This switch is a little risky, but I want this Machamp to stay alive. Oh, it's it's final throw though, it's not gonna kill anything. Maybe I should have stayed in. Machamp's gonna die to any hit, and it's gonna die it's not gonna be able to get the vital throw off. So this switch is just loose. This switch gets punished by a confuse and everything. Petro Pump should kill, but we're due for a miss. I would love to see something like Steelix in this fight, or a Golem. There's not really that many Pokemon that are bad for us to face. Hyper Beam here would suck. Actually, Hyper Beam is really good, because if it kills us, we kill with the champ. We need to hit this Hydra, though. I think we're like... Four, five, six. We're six for six on our hydros right now. Going on seven. Seven for seven. We can actually get a continue here now. Nido King is great into any fighting types here. My Caracross would be nice. If it's Caracross, we'll stay in and try to hit one more hydro. Oh dear. The white hot battle continues. Guess we're gonna explore our moves, but Hydro Pump's pretty good here too, still. Dragon Breath, please. Oh, look. There is a Ugh. King's only getting one turn. Okay, it became attractive to the opponent. 
I guess we're staying in and trying to hydro through and tract. Good. Are we seven for seven or eight for eight? Eight for eight, I think. Dynamic punch, huh? It's not gonna kill. Let's try and break through one more time. I want to switch into Nido King on the Dynamic Punch, but I want to do it when it's at its best chance to kill with Earthquake after. And since this Dynamic Punch currently isn't going to kill, I want to do it now. I want to keep attacking now. 8 for 8, 9 for 9. There we go. <laughs> Finally missed. We should have one Hydro Pump left. We really wanted to miss one more time, for a lot of reasons, but we wanted to miss because... Okay, we're already out. <sighs> we want to switch Nidoking in when it's not going for a dynamic punch. Broke through. Dragon Breath. Please miss. I guess we're going Nido King now. Earthquake probably doesn't kill. Is Earthquake or Hyper Beam stronger? Could not tell you. Should be able to get a continue here though. What's the damage count on? What was the first? What was the first Pokemon? Porygon. Psybeam, Swift, Dynamic Punch. Psybeam, Swift, Dynamic Punch. I should be, like in the yellow for sure, but I might be in the red even. Somewhere between 48 and like 80. Thief. Double slide. And that's a kill, so we get the continue, nice. Three continues. Insane Pokemon still. Ooh. Our first fight was a little slow, but every other fight's been relatively good. We've had our silver bullets for fight two and three, which makes those fast. And this one was a little slow, but we played it safe and got another continue. And we're on track to do some more damage. Kingdra's nice. Really good fire switching. Adequate Grass switch in. So I guess we're just going Nido King, Rapidash, Kingdra. Will these cries turn into roars of victory? Round five begins now. I'm losing time trying to figure out what this Pokemon is. Mm, Typhlosion. Whew, okay, so he's definitely staying. I, I was pretty sure we do Earthquake no matter what. I'm a little nervous about this sunny day, but yeah. Typhlosion was the, the cry. Which is excellent for us. One Pokemon is still capable of going up. 
Could get punished here, depending on what it uh, goes for. I don't think it has Solar Beam. But we go Kingdra, we Dragon Breath, we kill. Fire Blast missed? Was Fire Blast, but not a miss. Sun Stab is 225, so it's. Minus it's not very it's two and a half. Two twenty-five is like one point twelve damage. Here comes Dragon Breath. Right, that's a hit. There it is. Knock out. In the sun. Should still be in the green. Oh, it's Megania. I think we get one return of sun. Sunny day. Fire blast. Fire blast. Dragon breath. This turn. So we do have one more. Victory Bell? Oh, no. It fainted it just like, like that. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it's Executor! This is the last Pokemon. I think Executor lives this. This Executor's a little annoying, but we should be able to be fine. He's not saying it lived by the skin of its teeth. Four continues. No Relatively fast games. We've had three really fast games. Not perfectly fast, but one of them's perfectly fast. The other is uh, adequately fast. We lose like one minute on the third fight. We lost like... 40 seconds on the 5th fight. Excuse me. Did the first fight a little slow, but ultimately only lost like another minute compared to a perfect fight. 4th fight we lost like 2 minutes, 2 and a half. King last. This is the classic core. Gotta remember that our Iron Tail is left. Thunderbolt is right. But everything else is left. We uh, Kingdra Hydro Pump left. Earthquake left. We love to hear a Polyrath. We're a little nervous about a switch, but that delay, that pause. Okay. Because that pause means it's deciding to switch. Sometimes the AI does really fast turns. They like click their turns quickly. Sigurdar is kind of really annoying, actually. Maybe we're supposed to go Rapid Ash over Nita King. Because our Kingdra's not really a, a water type, right? So we don't really need an electric switch in. Kind of forced to stay in. Good paralyze though. That might cause a switch. Solar beam. Marks are flying from both competitors. Okay. The trainer switching Pokemon. I hope I'm switching to Kingdra. I don't know if two Dragon Breaths kill, but 
I'm less confident about Hydro Pump. Crit means we definitely attack twice with Dragon Breath. So I definitely feel confident in three Dragon Breaths killing after two Thunderbolts. I feel more confident about three killing. Oh man, this team. It's just kind of insane. What can I say? Umbreon is scary. I've taken one Solar Beam, that puts us at half. Maybe a little less. That misses rough. If they bite, we probably die in two bites. Oh, I didn't mean to stay in, but that's fine. We just want to get our damage off. We don't need any more continues. Well, we were due for misses. That's fine. It's weird. I'm not hearing the start of the faint attack animation. It normally goes... Because it sounds like it's going to be a double team, but then it turns into faint attack. But we should win from here. We should have a full HP, a luck to buzz, and that can definitely kill after one or two earthquakes. So if we miraculously die here, we'll probably be fine. If our Nido King dies here. Yeah, second. Second is a great example of why uh, Nido, Queen, Nido King might die here. Good Umbreon coverage, faint attack psychic. We will be fine. Though. Two earthquakes more than counts enough for this Thunderbolt to kill. And there's no way it can one shot an Electabuzz. Don't mind if I die here, but we want to get one more turn if we can. This earthquake might kill. I doubt it though. Because Dawnfan is barely a 3 at KO. And that's with Dawnfan's attack. Nido King is significantly lower. So I think it's doing like maybe 80. 80 each, and the Sunbrown has like 250 or so. So it's definitely in the red. We just hit two Thunderbolts, maybe three. Crush Chop Crit could theoretically one shot. So we just gotta fade a Bright Powder, I guess. You know what would be really funny? Thunderbolt doesn't kill, but paralyzes. They break through and cross chop crit and kill. That'd be very funny. If you think that'd be funny, let me know. I think it'd be very funny. <laughs> Fire punch? No. It's gotta be dynamic punch. It's just weird because he didn't say, oh, it's confused. Yeah. I was pretty sure it was dynamic punch. We broke through, though. That is their out, though. That was that was a better out than what I had, right? Cross chop crit, whatever. Dynamic punch confuse. Heck yeah, that would definitely have done it. So thankfully we didn't lose any time there, because we got the kill. But that was definitely a losable game right there. It was a coin flip, effectively. I don't know what the percentage chance to hit yourself confusion is in this gen. But when I say a coin flip, I just mean one of two results happens. Either we break through or we hit ourselves. So... Leave it up to a coin flip on that end there. They probably go for like waterfall or hydro pump. After we can hit ourselves, we probably die. Sir. Either way, we're fine. We're chilling. I like Fire Blast Rapidash. I kinda wanna go Nido King, but at the same time I don't. So we're just gonna go Kingdra, Rapidash, Electabuzz. 
Actually, I think Electos might be a better lead, but there's not many switch-ins for a Hydro. I was just thinking, like, eh, except for one, Starmie. That's fine, though. Starmie's annoying, but we can get a Dragon Breath off. We really want a uh, Dragon Breath or Paralyze here. I should have let Electabuzz. This fight, like, instantly loses if we go Electabuzz. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Somehow we're faster. I secretly wish I was Thunder on my Electabuzz here, because we can go for Rain Dance. Yeah, I think we're just Quick Claw, Kingdra. Good to know. Two hits. Probably lose this fight, which is sucks. Good dodge. We probably lose this fight because of the uh, double team. We do kill with the next Dragon Breath, though. Quick claw again. Beat the Zap Cannon one time. Fine. We're through. Good. Nice. Okay. Well, that was Electabuzz's Pokemon to fight, so now Electabuzz is expendable. Goodness gracious. We don't need Electabuzz, it's not as high priority. To keep alive, that is. I guess we're losing our uh, Kingdra. Uh, really need to hit this hydro through paralyze. Ugh. Okay. Good. No way is that a two hit KO. It's definitely a three hit KO. Oh man, King is gonna so much HP. Two eighty. We what? Quick claw. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. I'm amazed that was a 2 KO. Oh, it's a Dekuter! This is the last Pokemon! Well, the correct thing to do is to sacrifice our Kingdra. There's the attack! Good. We want to give ourselves the most chances to kill with Fire Blast, so we don't want to switch into a Psychic. I want to learn what my bottom move is. It could be Icy Wind as well. And if we could claw it, I want to see it. Oh, protect. Well, unfortunately, that wastes a little bit of time. But we do know now that we have Protect as well. So if we ever use our, uh... <laughs> toxic, uh... Rapidash. Wow, we got the Quick Claw again. Just insanity. This is a spot where I wish I had Flamethrower instead, because it's one Dragon Breath puts it in range, two guarantees it's in range of the Fire Blast. Oh gosh, is Electabuzz last? I went Electabuzz last, I'm pretty sure. So we go Rapidash up. Dragon Breath did a lot of damage this game, this run. We are so fast, by the way. I think that miss... <laughs> ...clinches. Oh my gosh, everything is falling apart, dude. That miss might cost us, like, a sub-35, sub-36. That double miss might cost us this run. This fight. We don't live. We live. Good. Two Thunderbolts should kill. Electabuzz is taking no damage. Frustrating. 
Could try to look for Thief. I don't think there's any merit to it. The Berry Juice putting it out of range of half means that this is probably not going to kill in two hits. I'd be really frustrated if we lost like a 35-36 minute run to, uh, to that triple miss there. Because it already cost us 40 seconds. Oh, okay, we win. Whew. Not going for Psychic means we win. Okay, good. Thunder, what? Thunderbolt was a 2 KO. I was worried about that, but it is. Good. The only thing that killed us this fight was Thunderbolt not being a 2 KO, and Psychic being a 2 KO. And the opponent went for the riskiest thing they could, which is flash, hope that I miss, and then psychic, psychic, psychic. The opponent was playing to their outs, but we got there. Man, I'm gonna be really upset if this is like a 37, 38 minute run, because that fire blast missed just decided everything. We're still kind of weak to grass, huh? We're not amazing against grass. It's funny because all of our Pokemon that would naturally be weak to grass, our water type and our ground type, are resistant to it. I think we want to run Rapid Ash over Nidoking, so we'll lead Electabuzz. We're, we're susceptible, we are susceptible to any ground types to begin with, like we, we already had a disadvantage. But Rapid Ash. Probably dash some Meganium switch in. So. Just gotta fade an Earthquake and hit a Fire Blast. We missed three, so we're due for a hit. You know? Surely we won't miss four in a row. Please don't Earthquake me. Steelix? We can beat Meganium. We can't beat a Dawn fan, so we gotta stay in. Fire Blast twice. And if it burns, we live. Okay, I guess we're leading Rapid Ash if we fight over. I don't think Dragon Burst kills after Fire Blast. Does not. Should have Hydroed. It's fine. We were in a losing position in this fight anyway. Really depends on their last. If their last is a water type, we can probably win this from this spot. Hydra was probably the correct play, but... Safety over speed is fine in this spot, because we already lost enough time on the seventh fight that we probably don't get a world record. Wow. Okay. We're definitely changing up our team. Okay, we hit the Hydra, which is good. Earthquake, Thunder. If we dodge Thunder, we live. Thunder Punch does not kill. This Meganium is a problem. We hit two Hydros. Okay. Do we need to be Hyper Beam to win? I don't think Hyper Beam. Excuse me. 
I don't think we have Hyper Beam with Iron Tail. Goodness. I don't know if Thunderbolt kills. That's what's really... Okay. The announcer saying that tells me they're on the red, which means it definitely kills. Thunderbolt's like a 40 damage. Maybe even as high as 50 damage against Ampharos. So now we're just Raw Dog. Electabuzz versus Meganium in the blind. If there's Solar Beam and we have Protect, we have a great shot. If we Paralyze, we have a great shot. We could look for Ice Punch, Psychic. I'm gonna do that. I think because the chance of us hitting Ice Punch is good, let's do that. Barrier, Light Screen. Special Attack, Blockage is good. And then they crit headbutt. I think our best bet is just Ice Punch. No reason to go for Thunderbolt. I mean, Thunderbolt Paralysis could be an out, but I like Ice Punch better. Body Slam Paralyze? Yeah. That's fine. We weren't going to get the fastest time there anyway, I don't think. If we had miraculously won this fight, we're probably at like the 38 minute mark. 37, 38 minute mark. We need sub 36 to get a world record. Insanely fast run, and we have like five continues. We have four left, probably. Definitely leading uh, Rapid Ash. There are no switch ins for that. I kind of want an Ampharos switch in. We're kind of all in on uh, weak to Earthquake, which kind of makes me want to have an Executor instead of a Kingdra. But there's virtually no lead here. No one wants to switch into a Fire Blast here. A lot of Water types can be Ice types too. Perfect. Might live. Good. Alright. Um, if they go Don Fan, we stay in. <laughs> if they pick the same team, we will we would hundred percent win this game here. Just need to hit one fire blast to feel good. We don't need to hit fire blast, but it would just be nice. Because we can get a burn, hit two more fire blasts. Two total fire blasts. We're killing with Hydro Pump no matter what. Oh my goodness. I think Kingdra's my third. <laughs> my logic center is telling me I put Nido King second. This is disastrous. If we don't go to Kingdra here. Absolutely disastrous if we don't. Good. Woo! Two turns of Hydro Pump is better than two turns of Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath is actually safer, but... When have we ever missed a Hydro Pump with this Kingdra, huh? huh? That's what I thought. Should win. They should have Ampharos on the end. It's very likely they pick the same team. If I miss this Hydra, I'm going for Dragon Breath. Good. But if we hit it, we just go for two Hydra Pumps. Because we live, for sure. Two Thunder Punches should not be enough. And we've taken no damage with our Kingdra, because we didn't go for the Dragon Breath route. So we can get a faster win here. Theoretically a faster win. I mean, we could also just have instantly switched to King, uh, Nido King and Earthquaked. I think that's theoretically faster. Going for Dragon Breath, because we need accuracy. So yeah, it was faster to switch to Nido King. 45 minutes. We definitely weren't going to get a sub-36. Had too many uh, slow fights. That was still an insane run. Really good pace. And we just steamrolled that last fight as well, right? 
We just picked a better team and instantly won. Five and a half minutes. Yeah, not much to say. <laughs> when you get a, a Pokemon, is like when all of your Pokemon have just good stab moves. You just kind of run those and hit the stab moves and win. What can I say? That Quick Claw was was cool. That Kingdra did a lot of work for us. First try, easy peasy. Yeah. Excellent game. Much love to everyone who's watching Blindfolded Pokemon Stadium on YouTube, on my Twitch, anything like that. Much love to the people in chat who hang out and enjoy our, uh, our casual little run-throughs of these every week. Hopefully, I will see y'all the next time that I'm streaming. Even though I don't have a blind- even though I can't see you, right? But I, you know what I mean, right? see you in the chat after I finish the run. Something like that. Much love and uh, take care.